Welcome to the Glofas web tutorial about how to use any external WMS service in Glofas. You find Glofas under www.globalfloods.eu. First of all, we should probably address what WMS stands for and what they are. WMS stands for Web Map Services and denotes a standard protocol that enables the retrieval of georeferenced map images over the Internet and the incorporation into a different graphical user interface with WMS capabilities, such as Glofas Now. The advantage of having the possibility to load any external WMS into the Glofas interface is that you can tap on onto a vast amount of freely available data that can enhance your analysis enormously. You might most probably be interested in adding supplementary information to the Glofas Forecast Viewer in order to broaden your analysis, or you might be interested in adding the same type of data from different WMS services to compare them to the Glofas information in order to increase the reliability of your analysis. How you can add WMS to the Glofas Forecast Viewer? You can access the WMS browser by clicking on the dark blue icon with the white plus which is located in the header of the layer box. From here onwards, you have two possibilities. You can either browse through the list of the most popular services, or you can insert the getter capabilities link to the WMS service you like to connect to. Let's load the WMS service to demonstrate how it works. I recently discovered the Global Risk Data Platform that offers many interesting layers in their web map service. Here's how it works, step by step. First you go on to their website, then you click on Web Services. You agree to their condition and then you proceed to WMS. And finally, you see the URL that you need to copy into the Get Capabilities in Glofas. You copy-paste it in Glofas and press Add to establish a connection to this specific WMS service. Once you have done that, you will see a whole list of available layers that this specific WMS service offers. With the plus icon, you can add the layer of your choice or you can also insert keywords into the search field to see if the WMS service contains a layer that matches your interest. In general, you will discover that there are two different types of layers, ordinary static layers and enhanced layers with variable timestamps or adjustable variables. Depending on what type of layer you have loaded, you will have different visualization options, for which reason I will present an example on each type. Let's load the flood economic exposure layer of the Global Risk Data Platform as an example for an ordinary layer. Now you can see the layer in the forecast viewer. As an ordinary layer, it has only some standard visualization options. You can call the legend by pressing on the legend icon to receive more information about the layer and you can adjust the transparency of the layer by moving the sliding bar in the top of the WMS layer box. This can come particularly handy if the, there are Glofas information underlying so you can see both ad information at the same time and deepen your analysis. To give another example of how information of external WMS can enhance your analysis, I will load the flood hazard layer of a 100-year return period of the Global Risk Data Platform. And then I will also load the one of Glofas, the 100-year return period flood hazard layer, and then compare those two. By comparing those two maps, you will increase the reliability of your analysis. The WMS of the Meteorological Service of Environment Canada Focus Analysis and Observations provide many enhanced layers with variable temporal dimension and also variables. You can find this WMS service under the most popular WMS section marked with the green star. Let's load the quantity of precipitation information of them. 
You can see that each layer comes with some additional information that you can read before you load the layer into the Glofas Forecast Viewer. If you move the cursor on the orange information button, you will see the start and end step as well as the time interval to which this information is available. You can adjust the transparency of the layer to see the Glofas Forecast underlying. This will help you to combine the different information during your analysis. Further, you can decide which time step you would like to see, either by choosing from the calendar option or by using the backwards or forward arrows. Lastly, in the legend you will see a drop-down menu with the different variables that the WMS service offers for this particular layer. Once you change the variables, also the layer adjusts in the forecast viewer together with the legend. Those were all the new features related to the integration of external WMS services in the Glofas interface. The Glofas team is wishing you happy exploring.